Hey y'all country man, back in the kitchen. Uh I'm gonna I got a turkey breast here. It is seven and a half pounds. This thing has been uh thawing since yesterday. I put it I had it out all day yesterday, put it in the fridge last night. Let me get this thing out and I'm gonna take a look at it. We may debone it, we may cook it. Uh, this is a learning video for me and you get to watch. So, on to step two. Be right back. Hey y'all, I'm back. I got him washed off and everything. This is a big old turkey breast. You can see where they took the wings off. Actually, that's the legs and wings. And, uh, it's got the main breastbone still in it. And uh, I'm going to take that out. It's pretty easy. You go right down through it. And it don't take but a jiffy to get through it here. And you go down each side of that neck bone. Actually, it's the breast bone. Or not the breast bone, but the back bone. And I'm just using a serrated knife. And that thing comes out like butter. I wished I was a meat butcher in my younger eight days. A uh, little bit of giblet still left on the inside here where they mechanically cleaned it, I see. But we got a trash can right over here to put that in. Uh, the breast meat. You go up here to your bone on the inside, your breastbone, and you go right down. That, that's more or less just cartilage. And if you, you can uh, follow it right along. And I am using this serrated knife. That way, when I get to a bone, I know where it's at. Hopefully, it won't be my finger. And we got to get down here and get under that bone. Don't be afraid to mutilate your turkey breast because that's going to be on the inside and it's not going to show. And you just follow that bone right along like you were going to uh, lay out a uh, any bone. We're going to break him open a little bit. Uh, see how you break that open and it gets flat? This is the bone I'm taking out right here. I want to show you. Hands are washed. Boards washed. Knives washed. Have it pick my nose. I'm good. I am mutilating this breast, y'all. I got uh, the main bone out. I got the neck bone out. I got one of the Rib cage is out. I didn't get real close to it. I got a lot of meat on there. What I'm going to do is boil these. What I'm going to do is go right along the side of this inside meat here of the rib cage. Get as close as I can to it. And as you can see, that will peel out of there. Just like a fillet on a fish. You got to get up here and get around the uh, wing bone area. Go on this side and start right there and go back this way, I believe. There you go. It's come, come out real good. Now, all I got here is pure D meat. These are what is known as the fillets or uh, tenderloin meat. Look at that. That is pretty. Here's another one right here. Where'd it go? Yeah. 
Here it is. It was here. That is the best piece of meat on any turkey. That is, it ain't a tenderloin, it is breast meat on the inside. Uh, but what we got here, I'm going to put this back over here with my bones for now. I'm, gonna, I'm thinking about frying those up on George a little bit later. I'm going to try my best to wrap, put my spices and everything that I want to put on it on the inside. And uh, uh, wrap her back up. I don't have any string. I was told to use uh, toothpicks, but a toothpick is not going to go through the earth. So what I got is some uh, muslin cloth, and I'm going to cut it into strips and wrap it up, and I'm going to put aluminum foil on it. I don't think my muslin is going to uh, uh, burn on me or anything. But I'm going to put my seasonings in here. I forgot a bone. Uh, I'm going to put my seasonings in here and show you what it is. And we're going to wrap this bag boy from the inside out. And when I get a little further along, I'll get right back to you. All right, y'all. Let's add some seasoning to this. I'm going to put a little bit of salt on the inside just to... Uh, Get things, you get the juices flowing once we put her together. Uh, most of my seasons are put up. We're going to put some cumin seed in here. I love this stuff. I know everybody else don't, but I do. Just enough, I'm going to say a couple tablespoons. We're seasoning it. Season it however you want. Uh, do I uh, measure anything? Do I... I, I do I have a cookbook? I got one cookbook in there where uh, uh, it's got recipes in it. Everything else comes out of my head and God help us all. This is India. What is it? India chili from India. Uh, my prepper angel. Give me this. It's a little bit. It's, it's hot. I'm not going to lie to you, but I'm not going to put that much in there. Just a little bit. Uh, because we're not done putting hot stuff in it yet. Uh, here we go. We'll put a little basil in there. This is the experiment, guys. If it don't come out, you won't get to see this video. Uh, got that. Uh, let's put some black pepper on here. If I got any left. Let's go over to the other side. Big hole. Oh yeah, it's coming out now. Black pepper. Uh, let me cut up my veggies and I'll be right back with you. I'm not worried about cutting up veggies. I figured out I've already got them cut. Uh, we're going with a little bit of broccoli. This is my dehydrated broccoli, and uh, I'm using it for flavor instead of uh, a veggies. And what I'm going to do is just crumble that up all over the inside of there for flavor, color, the whole bit. And uh, all this is going on the inside of the turkey. That is the wrong lid. Let's put my broccoli back over. Thank you, Jana. How about that big old uh, box of broccoli way back when? And uh, I'm still using it. And it comes in handy. That's not the pair of scissors I want. This is the pair of scissors I want. I have got frozen veggies here. And... Uh, I don't want the potatoes, I just want the onions, carrots, and celery. So what we're going to do when we come across a potato, we're going to flop him out over there in that pan. Look at these little uh, pearl uh, onions. Boy, it's going to make that taste good. There's another potato. I don't want him. What is this? The Trinity onions, uh, carrots, and potatoes. 
cooking trinity, I forget what they call it. I don't want to overdo my veggies. So, I'd like to have a couple more of these onions. Okay, here's what we got on the inside. Now, here comes the fun part, which I don't know if it's going to work or not. Is we got this and we're gonna fold her back over herself. <sighs> right there like that. And I knew my veggies was gonna fall. That ain't when I get done tying her up. Where's my little knife at? What I'm going to do, I've got this uh, folded over, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my knife down in there like that, and it holds it. Now I can go back and tie it up. And I got me some strings here. It's just, uh, actually this is the cloth that I use to uh, strain my uh, homemade wine when I uh, made it. I bought it just for that purpose. It's clean cloth. I am not worried about it uh, uh, burning or anything because I'm going to put it in a uh, aluminum foil. And I may just cut those ends off. Turn this around just a little bit without everything falling out. And uh, I'll put this bad boy back up here like this. I'm leaving the skin on for the simple fact that uh, that's where all your flavor and your meat or your uh, fat is. And all this is, I'm going to put this on a broiler pan. And uh, we're going to cook it at 350 for about three hours. Now I've got it pretty much uh, tied up on both ends, and I'm going to put one more. If I got a string long enough, I may have to tie two together. Pick that bad boy up. <sighs> yep, we're going to do one more here in the middle. I don't know why I'm worried about making a bow. Uh, is this one going to be long enough? I may have to cut me one more piece of string. But now, since we got three across here, we're going to go from end to end. And uh, don't know exactly how we're going to do this. We slide him right under there and hope. That it is long enough. Hey, how about that? It is. We got veggies. We got broccoli. All the seasons we got in there. And what I'm going to do is go back. All these little fringe deals is going to burn. So what I'm going to do is cut off all my ends. This is a long video, I don't, I'm sorry. Now. We got our aluminum pan here, regular uh, two and a half by 11 pan. I'm going to put me some aluminum foil in here. And he's all put together nice and neat. Go flip that over just like that. Got a little neck meat going on here. And if that ain't pretty, I don't know what it is. Uh, what we go put on top? I'm gonna go back to some black pepper. Always good. Wait a minute. Uh, 
I wish I had some butter. But I, I tell you what, a little bit of sriracha sauce on top for color and flavor. I know that you guys don't like my cooking, but what I'm doing is just giving you ideas. Uh, you know all the veggies on the inside. Gotta wash my hands. You go to washing uh, if you don't wash your hands after all these chilies. Uh, and you should go to scratch or pick anything you'll wish you had it. So washing your hands is not only a cleanliness is next to godliness, which sometimes I'm a sinner. I'm going to uh, garlic powder this up real good, and we're going to come back. Now you've seen all the weird combinations that I put in here so far, but right now it's what we're going to put in here is uh all that barbecue sauce by that baby uh i can't name it but everybody knows what i'm talking about and this is uh sweet and spicy When I get down to my new place, first one of the first things I'm going to build on the east side of the house is I'm going to build me a smoker. And I am tired of cooking in the oven. What I want to try to do is make a little uh, uh, tent above this, which I may need another piece of uh, aluminum for. Maybe not. And I don't want to... All the aluminum foil is is where my turkey does the turkey breast does not uh, get brown on top first. So there you have it. It's already a ten minute video. Uh, Three fifty at uh, this is seven pounds. I'm going to call it uh, about three hours or so. And uh, when it comes out of the oven, I'll get back to you. God bless. Hey y'all country man, uh, camera's kind of low, I don't care, the turkey is the uh, star of the show here, the tur turkey breast, uh, cooked it about three, three and a half hours, let's open this bad boy up and take a look at it, that turned out good, look at that, she's done all the way through, the juices are, uh, in there pretty good our strings worked out pretty good I'm gonna cut them off get them out of the way uh, oh yeah it's falling off the bone I've let this I took this out of the oven about uh, oh, 20-25 minutes ago and I wanted it to set up because you ain't supposed to cut this while she's hot. And I pray that it don't fall apart on me. <coughs> it's nice color. And we're going, how do I want to cut that? If I cut this way, it's with the breast, but I want to cut it across the grain because I got all my veggies on the inside. So what we're going to do is cut this end piece off. And, uh, oh yeah, she's done. And, uh, I'm hoping I can cut this. I'm going to cut me about a half inch piece of it here. Oh, I'm hoping I can do this without uh, making it fall apart. Oh, yeah. 
this is going to be good. Let me cut one more piece here. Check that out, guys. Check that out, y'all. I got my turkey breast. I got all my veggies on the inside. And this is downright delicious. Uh, it's not spicy. According to all the... Uh, you've seen all the stuff I put in there. Let's take a piece off the outside here. And uh, try it out. Mm. For turkey, I thought it was going to dry out, but it didn't. Got my little baby onions on the inside. Check that out. That is good. This will last me two days or better. And that is just all done on the inside. I put my string on the outside and wrap her up. I didn't know that I could do this. I watch YouTube videos. I'm from Missouri. Show me and I'll do it. But this turned out fantastic. Uh, if I can do it, anybody can. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know what you think. I can't wait till I get down south and I'll put one of these in the smoker for about 12 hours. Nice and low and slow and uh and not only will we have uh, cooked, cooked turkey, we'll have it smoked on top of that. Countryman out for now. God bless. And if I can do it, anybody can. This is finger licking good.